Hey, what's up, everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Canada Dry Diet Tonic Water. Next up is Canada Dry Tonic Water. These are both from Target. They're both $1.59. This is the second time I've reviewed a tonic water. In episode 5099, I reviewed Fever Tree Tonic Water, and I did not like it at all. Um, I, tonic water is not made to be drank on its own. I understand that. It's made to be mixed with some kind of alcohol or some kind of other juice. or It's made to be mixed with other drinks. It's not meant to be uh, drunken on its own. And another guy on YouTube called Reed Reviews, who has thousands of um, videos reviewing drinks and various items, he said it was the number one worst tasting um, item he's ever reviewed. He gave it a zero out of... 10 stars for the Canada Dry. Um, and then he later, he reviewed the Canada Dry Diet, and he said this was like, he said, I think he, I think he said it was the number two worst thing he's ever reviewed after the other Canada Dry. And so this has quinine in it, which is a muscle, muscle relaxer. Quinine is a chemical that was invented to prevent malaria in Africa and South Africa. And it was just later added to the drinks. Um, let's open them up and just do a taste test and see which one I personally think is better. Uh-oh. Oh, no. All right. That was unfortunate. Um, yeah, it's a carbonated drink also, as you can see, and that's one of the bad things about carbonated drinks. Alright, let's, um, try the other one. There it goes. I didn't, like, shake it up before the video. All I did was move it from that dresser right there where I took a picture of it over to this desk. I didn't, I didn't shake it up or anything crazy like that. It's just one of the negatives about stupid carbonated water. When I, at the start of the video I put water in quotes because it's like debatable whether this is really water. The The diet version has no calories, but the regular version has 90 calories. The regular version has 35 milligrams of sodium. The diet version has 55 milligrams of sodium. That's all bad. Like, like water shouldn't have sodium or calories or like all these lists of ingredients that they add to it. Um, yeah. Yes, I am biased against carbonated drinks. It smells fine. It smells like ginger ale. Um, it smells good, but I know it's not going to taste good. It has a bitter taste to it. I already know that before I even try it. It's called Canada Dry. The dry part of the name is supposed to refer to it not being sweet. Let's just try it. Here we go. I mean, it's not terrible, it's just really bitter. That's really it. The guy I read reviews said, like, he can only take a tiny sip. And that he might have been exaggerating a little bit. It's not that bad. It's just very bitter. That's really the problem with it. it the regular one contains high fruit toast, corn syrup, citric acid, sodium benzenate, and quinine and natural flavors. Let's try the diet one. It's making a mess all over my desk. Ugh. It's just bitter. Um, but it's not meant to be chugged. Like if you mix it with a an alcohol, it, ugh, 
it's like it's bitter. It's meant to be mixed with other stuff. Um, Canada Dry has lots of different beverages and flavors. They have ginger ale and other stuff. They're, the company Canada Dry is over 100 years old. And in 2008, it was bought by the Dr. Pepper 7-Up company. Here we go. Let's try another taste of it. It's really just the aftertaste, which is the problem. Like, if I leave it in my mouth, it's not terrible. It's just, like, when I'm breathing in now, it tastes bitter. Just because of the air is, like, going down. Ugh. Ugh. It's made to be mixed with gin. And, like, my, my teeth feel, like, sugary right now. Like, there's sugar on the outside of my teeth. That should not happen with water. Okay, as far as the taste goes, they're, like, identical. They're both very bitter. Let me just taste them again through comparison. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, they're both not good. The bottles themselves are exactly the same. The diet one just has a lighter label. <coughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm done with these. So to make this an official episode, I'm going to drink just a regular bottle of water. So it's an official episode of the show. Even this tastes bitter now, because that taste is still in my mouth. Okay, so they both taste pretty much the same, so I'm just going to say that the winner is the diet tonic water. Just because, I guess, if it has less calories, I'm just going to base it on that. And see, it's closer to being water because it has no calories. So, I guess congratulations on being less bad than the other water. And the diet one is moving on to the next round. So thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.